Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Economics at a Glance. Today we will study how budget line shift and how it rotates. Well, we have already discussed the budget line in our previous video. If you have not seen the budget line video, you can easily access to that. The link I have mentioned in the description box. So let's get started. So how budget line shift and how it got rotates okay well there are two conditions when money income changes our income will change in that case the budget line will shift then ceteris paribus okay in economics it is very important ceteris paribus that means other things remains constant other things remain constant okay that means money only changes other things will remain as such as before okay how we will study see let's say in our previous video we have discussed our income was 100 rupees and that 100 rupees we have allocated to chocolates and chips yes or no chocolates and chips and how much we have done our budget Chocolates is 10, 0 and 0, 24 chips. Yes or no? If you have not seen that video, you can easily access. Repeatedly, I am telling. I have mentioned that link in the description box. You can easily access to that. Okay? So, 10, 0, 0, 20. Our budget line was that. Okay? Initially. But now, if I will tell... This 100 rupees has increased to 200. Your mother is very happy with you. She has given 200 rupees instead of this 100 rupees, right? Now your budget is 200. So how you will calculate your budget now? The same product, chocolate and chips, okay? The same product, the price is 10 rupees and chips price is 5 rupees, okay? Now what you will do? Suppose the same procedure. Suppose you are not purchasing any chips. Okay. So your QY will be 0. That means this 200 rupees you can allocate to only chocolate. Right. So 200 divided by 10. That is 20. That means in first case you can have 20 chocolate and 0 chips. In the next way if you are not purchasing any chocolate. Suppose QX is 0. That means you will purchase all the chips with this 200 rupees. That means 200 divided by 5. That is 40. That means 0 chocolate, 40 chips. Okay, your new budget line point arrives. What is that? First is 20, 0. And here, what it is? 0, 40. Okay. Understood how it got right? What happens to our budget line? Let's see. So, new point 20, 0, 0, 40. Let's just join these two points. See, this is your new budget line. Your budget line shifted to rightward. In economics, we know that any shift to rightward, that means it is increase in that particular curve. Okay, so now... It shows our budget has been increased. Similarly, if your budget has decreased to 50 rupees, it will shift to leftward. Okay? When our budget increases, it will shift to rightward. When our budget decreases, it, it will shift to leftward. So, this is all about shift in budget line. Next, we will study how it rotates. See, just a minute. Okay, so this is all about shift. Rotation is when your PX and PY, price of X, price of Y, either changes, ceteris paribus. That means remaining other things constant, only one, either price of X or price of Y. If it will change, then your budget line rotates. How? See, suppose same example. Same example, I will take your chocolate and chips. Initially, it was 10, 0, 10 chocolate, 0 chips. 
एंड जीरो चॉकलेट ट्वेंटी चिप्स ये सर नो ओके सो योर मनी इनकम कॉन्स्टेंट मनी इनकम कॉन्स्टेंट हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड यू आर गोइंग फॉर यू आर गोइंग फॉर वॉट चॉकलेट एंड चिप्स हियर इज योर चॉकलेट एंड हियर इज चिप्स चॉकलेट प्राइस इज टेन रुपीज नाउ आई विल रिज्यूम वन प्राइस विल चेंज Suppose the price of chips changed and changed to five rupees to ten rupees. Initially it was five. Now it has been changed to ten rupees. Our chips price is now ten rupees. Initially it was five rupees. What happened now? The same procedure we will follow. Hundred rupees we have first one. In first case we will purchase no chips. Q Y zero. So Q X will be hundred by ten. That is ten. That means same ten zero. This point. Okay. Next one. Suppose we are not purchasing any chocolate. That means Q X is zero. That means the total hundred rupees we can allocate to chips. That means Q Y will be hundred by ten. That is ten. Here the new point is zero ten instead of zero twenty. So what happens? Zero ten. same point but it will rotate to this one this is called rotation okay similarly if price of chocolate will change it may shift it sorry it may rotate like this okay so this is called rotation understood okay so this is all about shift and rotation in the budget line then we will study how budget line and indifference curve came in to produce the consumer equilibrium well consumer equilibrium is our focus in the next video we will come our next with our next video that is how indifference curve and budget line together will make consumer equilibrium okay if you want to be with that video stay with my channel don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you